Alright, we are back here, and we have all our stuff, which apparently was just a newspaper and uh, tarot cards. A deck of tarot cards. Yeah, see, tarot cards. That's totally what he said. Um, so we're going to use the... Oh, wait, we have to try and get it first, don't we? The door is locked. All right, we'll look down bottom. All right. What? I know this works. The local newspaper. Okay, I I know this works. Damn it! That's that's what you have to do. Because that ain't gonna work. What if you try and click on it first? What? The key itself. Oh, like we have to try and grab it before we can newspaper it? Yeah. Yeah, that might be a thing. That sounds like a thing. It's an adventure game thing. With adventure game pockets. Yeah. I, this one, she's got that fireplace poker, a hammer, tarot cards, and a newspaper. No idea where she's keeping it. But it ain't right there. And it's not in her shoe. Do I have to really examine it? Alright, and then we can look at the newspaper. They're all ads. <laughs> Are they? Yeah. Oh, oh, there you go. Hey, gotta make that money somehow. Alright. Now can we use the... No. I don't understand. She's supposed to, like, use it to... Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Click on the turret cards. That's not gonna work. They're smaller. Why wouldn't they work? Because they're not. See? Nothing. I don't think this is the right thing to do. I'm pretty sure it's the right thing to do. Cause she, mm. hmm. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Wow, that's dumb. Yep. Damn, it why didn't I think of this before? Cause you're dumb. And you have ovaries. What the hell? Come on. What does ovaries have anything to do with it? Everything. Okay, so apparently Bullshit. you're supposed to put that through there beforehand, then push it through, and then pull it out. But we have fireplace poker. I have everything to do. I don't know why we couldn't do that the first time. Really? You have the... Really? Really? We've been over this. Adventure game. Every little step. Yes. She agrees with you. Raina, quit licking. And we've not been here before, correct? Correct. This is all brand spanking new. I think it's locked. Oh, she <laughs> you jimmy the lock. You were so wrong. There's a book there, though. Is that all that's in here? There's a bed. Should we look at the bed? 
Whenever you go to bed, bad things happen. So this is Rapunzel's castle. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let down your hair. Which they only said once. Entangled. Such a great movie. Right at the very end. Such a great movie. Right at the very end. The only time they said it. Still an amazing movie. The Vampire by John Polidori. Is that a real book? You should look that up. To Malcolm from Zoltan. Oh, that's the old guy from town. An old book belonging to Malcolm. It is a real book. It is a real book? Yes, it is. What? The vampire. Spelled like pyre as in like a fire. Uh, it's a short work fiction written in 1819. The progenitor of romantic vampire genre fantasy fiction. According to Wikipedia. Yeah, according to Wikipedia. So you have, you can thank John William... Polidori for Twilight. Without him, it wouldn't have been possible. <laughs> oh, that's all it says? Alright, well. I guess we go to town then? Right? Because you're just going to want to like chill on the bed like a lame, lame face, yeah? yeah? Nothing else over here? Don't even want to check the drawers, huh? Alright. Let's go to town. Maybe that old wench will let us in. I like how she closes that door while all the other doors in the house are open. See it? Yeah. Yeah? I don't even know if that room has a door, though. Didn't look like it. You can put some beads up, I guess. Oh, that one's closed. Yeah, curtains. I mean, for what it is, it's pretty well made, I think. When did this come out? Uh, 98, I think. I don't know, we talked about it in the first video. It has been a while. In a few months. Since June? Well, whatever this monthly was. So probably June, maybe, mayhaps. I think we drugged the dog, right? Or fed him a bone or something? I think so. We apparently don't need to go through mail anymore. No. Can I just use book door now? See what happens. We'll do it live. You again? I already told you no. Wait. Well? Book. They're frozen. <laughs> well? Look at her face. Oh, you took too long. That's you took too long. You were too busy. Well, in Near. Click on the book. Far. Where is the book in the tower? See? She's a handsy old bat. Just a minute. She needs a good smack. Alright, you can come in. 
What exactly did she have to do? Go show the old man, I guess. Malcolm. She's here. Malcolm. You were right. She is here. You know, viewers, with that old lady, I bet there was a time. You're disturbing. Um, we have to go uh, talk to the yeah. dying old man. Like in the Covenant? Yeah. Uh, That's a good movie. We are living in Kano's house. Yes, sir. You found my book. Yes, I I did, sir. Don't call me sir. I, 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 I don't like it. it call me vampire. Makes me feel old. He's got uh Billy Bass above his fireplace. What I doubt it sings though. My name is Malcolm. <laughs> call me that. What did that sing? Malcolm. Is it true you lived with Carno as a boy? Did you sleep in the tower room? It's like right there. I know. <laughs> yes, I did. That Don't play while he's talking. My room. What was Carno like? Enough. I have one question for you. And then... You have to leave. What is it? Tell me. How is the house? Everything okay? I guess. What do you mean? Good. That, that's what I wanted. I opened a box and some weird green shit went in the air. <laughs> That's what he was wanting to hear. She told him that. Alright, what does the fish sing? You can't play the whole thing because copyright. Alright, here we go. Billy Bass. You guys remember Billy Bass, right? Some of you, maybe? Oh, shit. Nah, no, it's an ad. That'd be an ad. That was loud. Hold on, hold on. That was like way copyrighted music. Try this again. You gonna play an ad? No, it's not playing an ad. All right. That's right. What else did he sing? He sung another song too. That's what it was. <laughs> I don't even know if that picked up. Don't worry, be happy. That's what I remember. I wonder if this person wants the tarot cards. We didn't meet a psychic lady, right? She wants like a earring thing, right? You want the tarot cards, lady? Smack you upside the head with I thought she was the one who gave us the tarot cards. No, I don't think she did. I thought we found them somewhere. How about the puppy lady? No. Nope. Maybe the puppy wants the newspaper. Oh, uh, yeah. No, he doesn't care. She wanted those little earrings that have, like, a bust on them or something. Okay. Whatever those are called. Okay. There's a word for them. Mm-hmm. Cameos. Yeah, there you go. 
I knew there was a reason I'd keep you around. Aw, you're so sweet. I know. <laughs> now make me a sandwich. I made you waffles. Thank you. It's better than a sandwich. Is there a reason to be in here? Probably not. Good morning. Um, okay. Can you do... No. Maybe we have to give the tarot cards to the lady since she can read palms and crap. Yeah, maybe so. So, back to the barn? I think so. Uh-oh. Cutscene! Loud footsteps. It's Dawn. Oh god, you scared me. Told you it was Dawn. So where have you been all day? I don't know. Around? He looks Asian. In town. I thought I told you to stay away from all of those people. People. What people? Those stupid townspeople. Oh, this is silly. Finish with you, bitch. You're telling me what to do? Where were you all day? None of your business, honey. Well, I'll tell you what. You take care of your business, and I'll take care of mine. Well, we're going to see about that. Scary. No, oh, chapter is finished. Fancy. Maybe I had to give her the tarot cards before we went to town. So now what? Oops.